Agrippa refers to two Herodian rulers mentioned in the New Testament of the Bible, Herod Agrippa I and Herod Agrippa II. Both played significant roles in events concerning early Christianity. Herod Agrippa I. Background. Grandson of Herod the Great and nephew of Herod Antipas. Rule. Became king over Judea and surrounding regions. Biblical accounts. Persecution of Christians, notably known for his harsh treatment of early Christians. He ordered the execution of the Apostle James, the brother of John, and imprisoned the Apostle Peter with the intent to execute him as well. Acts chapter 12 verses 1 to 4. Divine judgment. During a public address, the crowd acclaimed him as a god. Because he did not give glory to Jehovah, an angel struck him down, and he died eaten by worms. Acts chapter 12 verses 21 to 23. Significance. His actions and subsequent death serve as a cautionary account about pride and opposition to God's purpose. Herod Agrippa II. Background. Son of Herod Agrippa I. Rule. Governed territories northeast of Judea. Biblical accounts. Encounter with Apostle Paul. He is most noted for his hearing of the Apostle Paul's defense of his faith. Paul was brought before Agrippa II and his sister Bernice in Caesarea. Acts chapter 25 verse 13 minus 26 to 32. Famous statement. After Paul's persuasive testimony, Agrippa remarked, In a short time you would persuade me to become a Christian. Acts chapter 26 verse 28, New World Translation. Significance. Represents the opportunity to witness about Christian faith to people of all standings, even royalty. Jehovah's Witnesses discuss these historical figures to draw lessons about faith, humility, and the importance of giving glory to God. The accounts of Agrippa I and II are used to illustrate the consequences of opposing divine will and the powerful impact of witnessing about one's faith, even in challenging circumstances. For more detailed information, you can refer to articles and publications available on jw.org, which provide in-depth insights into these biblical figures and their relevance to Christian teachings.